For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this very, very, very easy problem. It only takes a couple of seconds, actually. As you can see, you have basically this motor turning, and as you can see, you have these two reactions at A and B, one going up, one going down, that are going to hold this motor in place. What they want you to find is the magnitude of these reactive forces. So let's gonna point let's gonna call um this point point o i'm gonna call it point o and we're gonna do the sum of the moments at o has to be equal to zero right so that being said as you can see you're given this distance of 150 millimeters which is the same as saying 0.15 meters so the distance from here to here is 0.15 meters and you have two right triangles that are exactly the same and form an angle of 60 degrees so by using a little trigonometry you can find that distance right here let's call it distance x and you know that from trigonometry you should know this that x is equal to 0.15 meters let's we have meters already divided by the tangent of 60 degrees is equal to x and that is equal to 0 0.0866 meters so that being said, you have a right here O, we're going to calculate the sum of the moments. So the moments at O are equal to zero, which is equal to the moment given M, which is five Newton meters given right here. So let's assume clockwise is positive. So we can put M as positive. So M minus, because this R creates a counterclockwise for moment and it's turning the arm of this length which is the same as this length which is also x and this is x it's all the same thing so it's minus r times x and then this r is going down and it's turning this little lever arm over here which is also of length x minus r times x so as you can see this is equal m is equal to 5 it's given right here and you got minus r times x minus r times x which is obviously minus 2x times r and that is equal to zero we have x we have it we found it right here so all you got to do is plug in x so for r are you going to get that r is equal to 28.9 newtons final answer Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.